Oh man, what's going on, family man? It's your boy Trap Vision 3D, and we're gonna keep this train rolling with Black History Month, celebrating Black History Month. And today's special day uh, for one iconic being uh, worldwide, worldwide. Y'all saw the thumbnail. You see it right there. You already know what it is, man. We're gonna celebrate Mr. Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, keep it down. Keep it down. Now, here's the deal. Yeah, we can go back when he was born, where he was born, where he went to high school and all this other stuff, man. But we're going to talk about, like, personal history, man. So, like, for me, I actually met Michael Jordan when I was, like, yay high. Gave me a pair of J's. Uh, actually gave all of us, like, everybody that went to this little camp back in the day. My mom uh, got this letter. Well, I got the letter. I gave it to my mom. They said, hey... It's an opportunity for these, you know, to inner youth to come out and meet Michael Jordan, right? So I'm like, Michael Jordan? Like six foot six Michael Jordan? Psh, most definitely. So get dropped off uh, on the south side of Chicago. We're all sitting around and telling us what to do and all this other stuff. There was a lot of little activities and we were drawing stuff. And then we turn around and we walk through the door. And I'm talking about like, outside of meeting Walter Payton, I was done i was like yo it's jordan oh my gosh man and you know he was taking us through dribble drills and all kind of stuff he was just showing us some little things and he brought shoes out for us i was like yo this is crazy now unfortunately for me i'm on the south side of chicago and they were robbing people for those shoes my mom took them was like you're not you're never wear these but the one thing i did get to to do was i had that poster still got it to this day a six foot six, six foot six poster and I actually drew on it like my growth because I said, man, I want to be like Michael Jordan. This man had you feeling like you can actually fly or like you can accomplish anything. Anytime you just, oh my gosh, man, when you sit down and watch a game and I know my sister gone, man, rest her soul, but she took me to a, a game and I actually get to see Michael Jordan. This is before Pippen actually came on. I was like, I can't believe it, man. Like, one of my biggest heroes, man. Is, and I'm, like, right here. Not course I, but we were close enough to where I'm, like, I can't even remember what the score was, man. I didn't take my eyes off him. When he sat down off the bench, I'm, like, yo, Jordan is, like, right there, man. So, uh, you know, grew up in Chicago. He was the hero. He was the man. But here's the crazy thing. That man ain't played basketball in over 20 years. <laughs> He played for the Wizards, and I, and you know what? To be fair, I could go through all his stats, man. Being all-time defensive player, you know what I'm saying? The championships, you know, six titles, all the stuff he's accomplished, man. Y'all know, y'all already know this stuff. But the biggest thing, um, I want you to take away today is, of course, today is his birthday, right? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you ever see this, but you know, happy birthday, man. Salute to you. Um, this dude is probably one of the smartest businessmen out here do you guys know i don't know if you know this do you guys know that he's made more off the court than he ever did in the nba so let's go through some of this man's accomplishments and I, I scrubbed this information from several sources and they all they're kind of all over the place with it some say he's worth 1.2 billion some say 1.6 let's just say he's over a billion dollars and his endorsement goes from Haynes, McDonald's, Coca-Cola. And how smart is that to have? I mean, McDonald's have Coke products. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, dude, the dude is smart. Uh, have you guys ever heard of um, Sesoro? It's a tequila. It's pronounced Sincaro. <laughs> this is the most expensive tequila that you can find. $1,600 a bottle. Bruh. And Jordan is bought into that. Anything or well, a lot of things that's sports related, upper deck, he's into that. You know what I'm saying? He has bought, of course, uh, Charlotte Hornets. He owns a percentage of that. And one thing I didn't know was uh, baseball. Miami uh, Marlins, he owns a percentage in that. And I'm like, dude, what? Don't he own stock or something in? Um, he has, like, his worth, bro, is just, like ridiculous, man. One of the few um, NBA players to shine past his career, right? And 
there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot to be said about about that as somebody that's a, a fan of what he's done I mean think about it this right here the man ain't touched the court in over 20 years and this is still one of the the only other player NBA player right now is LeBron James and everybody's always comp comparing who is the GOAT of NBA and I do remember listening to an article where uh, Jordan was like yo um, when you're talking about who's the greatest man you know you have to look at individuals you know skill set and what they bring to the game and hey I'm not gonna take nothing from LeBron James Kobe Bryant or anybody else in the league you know what I'm saying uh, everybody has their skill set everybody's brought what they have to the game uh, but you can't deny Jordan love or hate him here's the deal because I know there's some people that don't like Jordan uh, there's some people that won't celebrate Jordan uh, but what I'm looking at is the fact that my man actually he pushed the game of basketball to a whole different level and then anybody that came after that or just looked at his career as a businessman entrepreneurs and stuff like that it's something to aspire you know what I'm saying it's something to like hey there's a goal if you put on your on a piece of paper you say you know what today I saw Jordan ball stock in this and you write it down like yo uh he's an example now all of my examples of Jordan's not the greatest I actually ran into Jordan when I got older saw him I was like yo I was happy to see him I was in a casino and I went to speak and let's just say it wasn't the best <laughs> it wasn't the best uh meeting and I was pissed off at the end of that conversation it wasn't even a conversation it was just a comment he, he made and I was like Dang, bro, I ain't trying to get in your way, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was listening to all his little friends, or Barkley and them, talking about, well, when he's gambling, he's very competitive, he don't want to be bothered. I was like, yo, all right, bet, you know what I'm saying? So, all of my, well, that was the only one Jordan experience I had that, well, he pissed me off. I'm talking, he pissed me off. But outside of that, man, uh, I hope you guys look at, just go dig into his story. Go dig into what Jordan has accomplished up to this point, man. There's so much stuff, man. And one of the greatest feats for me, you know what I'm saying, my takeaway from Jordan outside of the shoes was Space Jam, you know what I'm saying? And that led me up to when he came back to Chicago. When I heard this, <sighs> yo, yo, when I heard that, I, I mean, Dude, I'm talking about like this man, he was like Superman to us, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I had my partners that was around me, everybody, like we was on the edge of our seats, man. Best show, and, and he came out of clown, he still had that 45 on, bro. Man, so, MJ, anybody that's celebrating Jordan or whatnot, Go ahead and send that man a happy birthday, man, and thanks. Go on Twitter. I actually sent, like, I think, like, six or seven Twitters. I tweeted out. I said Twitters. I tweeted out <laughs> seven uh, messages, man. Uh, just, you know, here's the deal, man. He brought a lot. Uh, that's, that's excellence for everybody to enjoy. So, that being said, man, continue to study. Know your heritage. Know your history. I don't care what race you are, man. Dig into it, man. Go look at your heroes, man. I'd like to know who y'all got is a hero that changed your life. You know what I'm saying? Or just inspired you to do greater, man. So, until the next Lightning Strike family, y'all be blessed.